content strategists do a wide range of activities related to content, but a lot of it is related to planning the content, thinking about the messages of the content, what is it that we're trying to say, and thinking about the goals of the business, the needs of the audience, and bringing all of these ideas together to create the content that's going to be the most effective. And even though the content strategist is not creating the content itself, they're creating plans and guidelines and sometimes calendars uh, for the long-term creation and maintenance of that content. A lot of companies now are not journalism companies, not media companies, are finding themselves creating a lot of content, but they don't have that kind of staff in place and they don't have those processes or that history. And so they need some guidance on how to create content. And then I think even companies that have traditionally created media, they don't, um, they're struggling a little bit in terms of how to adjust to a digital world. And I think they need some guidance and some assistance. I worked on a project for Billboard magazine, which is a, uh, a music magazine and website. And they had a lot of content on the website that came from the magazine, and then they had some content that was uh, created specifically for the magazine. But they didn't have um, good connections between things, and so the content was sort of random and separate. One of the things that we did from a content strategy perspective was really help them understand how to tag the content and how to make those connections so people could go from the chart to the articles to other charts and make use of the content in the framework that they're most famous for, which was their authoritative music charts. Mm -hmm.